All right, hello and welcome to another Why Would You Use. So today we're going to be talking about the fastest focus farm in the game. This is not the lazy farm, which we went over with Banshee, and that one can be done while you are, like, basically AFK eating popcorn, watching YouTube videos or whatnot. So if you want something like that, that Why Would You Use is there and is still quite accurate, barring the change to Zenerik being that you now have to dash for your energy instead of waiting for the timer. That is not a very large difference, and I'm very certain you guys can adapt that if you need it. Uh, but this is going to be the super fast focus farm that requires you to put the work in, basically. Uh, but it requires much less time, so if you're in a hurry, this is definitely the best way to do it. There are two Warframes that are capable of doing this farm. Technically three, but the third one is highly inconsistent. And the main one is Equinox. This is the Sleepquinox build, and it is worth noting that there is one new mod from the set mods that would be better than a mod that is already in here. So Augur Reach, if you were to have that, or when you get that, would replace Primed Vigor. That is the one change that I would make to this, just to accompany the new mods. Barring that, this works perfectly fine, uh, and absolutely does not need that under any circumstances, but would be slightly better with it. The other Warframe that can be utilized with this is Ivara. Both of them are being utilized for sleep, as that is the mechanic that you need to be kind of using in order to make sleep kills, or make stealth kills, even remotely fast to do, because otherwise this farm will not be worth your time whatsoever, as it is massively inconsistent and a gigantic pain in the ass. So. Those are the two builds that are viable for this. Equinox is faster, so obviously we're going to be showing that one. Uh, and to accompany this, I usually always bring a melee weapon, and I'm going to show a couple of melee weapons, and you're going to notice a pretty direct uh, similarity between how all of them are built. So this is the Guandao. This is what I'm using for Zenric focus farming. Uh, as my Zenric lens is on this, both your melee weapon and your Warframe will, of course, need a, a lens. So, yeah. Uh, this is a pretty basic build that uses Maiming Strike, Primed Reach, Corrosive Damage, and you're going to hit very, very hard, and you're going to do a lot of spin attacks on all the enemies in a very large area, so you can clear them very, very quickly. Uh, Twirling Spire is not required at all. You can use one of the other stances if you don't have the super new one, um, but I wouldn't worry too much about the stance, as you're pretty much only going to be using spin attacks. Maiming Strike is incredibly expensive, I'm aware, and if you don't have it, it doesn't it's not necessary for this however there will be some enemies that may survive a hit which will break your stealth chains so maiming strike is very much advised for this uh, with that the other weapons that i have been using for this are the atarax which obviously that is a spin attack monster and no changes would be made to the regular build that i would bring on the atarax which i'll just show here don't even need to make any changes to this this weapon is absolutely amazing and i have a matarai lens in it and then, to a lot of people's surprise, I imagine, the Keshag. The Keshag is basically a... This one only really works if you have Maiming Strike, because the crit chance is so terrible, but the crit multiplier is so good. So if you're using Maiming Strike to force crits, this is going to be highly consistent and very, very good for you. Um, otherwise, I can't suggest the Keshag. But those are just a couple examples of the weapons you can bring, and for me, I need... Currently, Zenric focus, so I'm going to be switching to this, and there's obviously a Zenric lens on my Equinox. So, with that, where do you go for this farm? This farm is on Sedna Adaro. Why is that? Because it is a high level Grenier exterminate mission. And the, the tile set will often not totally fuck you over. So, with that, let's get started and show a run. I am using Zenric for this. Uh, I would highly advise anyone messing with the new focus system immediately max Energizing Dash on Zenric, uh, as it makes this just so much more enjoyable of a run. Uh, as you can get into your operator, leave this field down, and then generate a lot of energy very quickly. And you'll refresh this over the course of the entire mission. Uh, along with that, I do have a auto key set up that just spams two every half second. The reason for that is because everyone needs to be put to sleep. And you need to make sure of that. So whenever you're looking around, everybody needs to go night-night. And of course, you're going to spin attack them and kill them. In the top right, you can see that it is building up the stealth. It will go up to 500%. Your goal is to keep that 500% over the course of the entire mission. 
everyone's getting to sleep and you're murdering them. It's very, very important to watch out for your focus convergence so that you can get a much better amount. Also, in some cases, you'll want to set a faster macro than this so that you can make 100% certain you always get everyone as you do not want them to wake up. You have about 30 seconds of time to eliminate them before they will wake up. And also, whenever you get Convergence, you're in much more of a hurry to get through this area. So I have Convergence right now, so I'm in an extra big hurry to kill all these guys. With the Augment, Equinox's 2 will also creep from enemy to enemy, so I would definitely suggest bringing it. That enemy saw a body, which you don't want to have happen, and also can be prevented by channeling, which will dissolve bodies. So that was a decent first Convergence for 10k focus. Uh, because I'm at the end of Convergence, I'm just going to eliminate this guy so that he's not a problem anymore, and you can see that reset myself because he saw a body. Which is massively annoying and is kind of the reason you can't really do this as many Warframes because sleep will prevent them noticing bodies. Uh, so if you want to channel, and definitely if you have max energizing dash, I would suggest channeling just so enemies can't stumble upon any bodies they definitely shouldn't be seeing as that will ruin your run. And whenever you get... A convergence orb spawn you probably want to put as many people as you can to sleep and kind of delay killing a bunch of dudes so you can get a bunch of kills that are all worth 500 percent all at once if you miss anyone it will force you to backtrack which is highly unfortunate but that is just the way it works Thankfully, sometimes you don't have to backtrack too far. May have seen me. Nope. Usually, if you're moving pretty fast and you're putting them to sleep in midair and stuff, you don't have to worry about it too much. And that was like a 20k run. Not bad. So we've already accrued about 30k so of focus. And we are about halfway through the run. You'll get about 60k. You can do this much faster than this. I'm just like slowing down for the sake of having it be explained and such. But this is the basic idea. It's pretty simple all in all. And doesn't take a tremendous amount of time. There's another convergence orb. So I'm going to focus on putting everyone to sleep. that I can then grab the orb and then kill them all. This room can be very annoying, so be very careful in it. And the chances that someone will see you kill somebody are like tremendously higher here, I find. Also, it's worth noting that when you're under Convergence, the enemies that you want to primarily target are Eximus, as they are worth significantly more affinity, which is what you're converting into focus. And that was like a 36k, which is not bad. Uh, going actually really fast without trying to explain the run, that's usually about what you'll get uh, given a regular run through. You want to make sure you're refreshing Energizing Dash as well. It's also worth noting that if you do not have Max Energizing Dash and you still want to utilize Channeling, you can use the other Zenerik passive that I have actually not unlocked yet. Which is the increased Channeling efficiency. Or alternatively, you can swap the Electric mod on my build for the one that gives efficiency, which is Focus Energy. And also still Electric Damage, of course. So for this, I actually do want to get past this so I can grab that focus orb as this is a room full of uh, juicy enemies who are full of focus. Yeah. 
sometimes you will get finishers that you don't attempt to. Even once the enemy is broken, you do not want to stop. Just kill as many of them as you can. Also, you're noticing that because I am dissolving the bodies, it makes this much better, even if people do wake up. And so let's just let our focus end to see how much we get for this last one, which should be a pretty good amount. 23k. So we're ending up, we're getting like a little under 100k. Uh, I usually average somewhere between 90k and 120k per run. And this, this, like I said, can be done much faster than this. It's just an example run. So, with that, that's the basics of how this farm is done. It is significantly faster than the Banshee Way, but requires more effort. Uh, but is really good. Once you get used to it, it's very easy to bust this out and get this, like, the entirety of your focus done in, like, about 20 minutes or so. Uh, but your mileage may vary depending on your setup, as, of course, I am using that very handy little macro that makes it so you just don't have to, like, constantly be pressing 2 on every single room you run into. Uh, but obviously that's not needed. You can just spam the shit out of it if you want. So, yeah, that's the farm. I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you guys tomorrow.